Okay, so here we start another market and this is the beginning of the booth setup. We have come a day early to set up the structure, which we are allowed to do. We are not supposed to be setting up all the items in the structure. So this is a good look at kind of how we have a 10 by 30 booth and we do have an end. So we've got some bigger pieces that we're hoping to sell obviously, um, but we will be filling this space completely with smalls and home decor. So let's hope for another good weekend. Okay, so Sue and I have been working, loading the truck, unloading the truck, working on the booth since about 8 a.m. It is now roughly one o'clock. We have until 6 p.m., so five more hours to finish putting this booth together. As you can see, there is an awful lot to get done. Starting to see some really good elements pulled together, but yeah, there's still so much to do. So let me, let me get to working and uh, you guys will see, I will be sure to do a final preview before we leave tonight. Okay, so the gate is open and people are beginning to come through. We literally just finished setting up. So I didn't even get to do any video before the booth opened. So let's take a look at where we are now. You can always find our big arch. We do have a lot of greenery out. As always, you see people come with buggies, which is awesome. It's sort of our centerpiece display. We do unusually have a lot of furniture for sale this time, um, including a nice dining set, a china cabinet, a couple of other nice pieces. These are old windows, or not windows, mirrors, that we took the glass out or they were already broken and we planked them. I expect those to do well today. You saw me paint those side tables. I've been saving them all this time for here. And then we have this little outdoor area. I will try to get in the booth and take some additional pictures. I already see people with things in their hands. And so that's a great sign. For today's video, I am just gonna focus on showing you what the booth looked like. And in our follow-up, our wrap-up, I will talk about what all sold and how I changed things around between the first day and the second day to help move other items that I thought would be more popular on day one to help get them to sell on day two. This is our booth about 30 to 45 minutes after the market opened. We had started bringing some items, but as you can see, we need good pathways for lots of people. It is day two for Diamonds and the Rust. It is Saturday. It's about 10 minutes before the gates open. We are filling in a little bit, but I wanna give you a peek of what the booth looks like. I did not get on much yesterday. I was by myself most of the day. Sue had to take real estate photos, which is her primary job. And uh, yeah, so we did sell a couple big pieces. So I am still filling in some spots, but I wanna give you a peek at the booth and what it looks like now. So this is our cash wrap area. So he's putting out some new paper. And this is our tree that I've been talking about in the other videos where I got the greenery from. This is just a regular Christmas tree that I cut off all the odd branches and I'm using it for ornament display. I've had a lot of compliments on it. It's looking a little not great right now, but it'll still do its job. And you come in and we've got some greenery. You can kind of peek around. We just added this this morning. I had a console here which sold yesterday. So we're filling it in with some pieces that got shoved to the side when the console sold. So I've got a little bit of work to do there. Kind of see what it looks like here. This is the back of the trees. You can see every inch is merchandised. Okay, and here, bookshelf. From high to low, we have lots of stacks of everything. And so um, we do sell a lot of greenery, which we've talked about before. And I'll just show you, everything is displayed so that we're selling the pots and we're selling the greenery. And everybody can see how everything is used. I don't know why that's flipped around. Lots and lots of layers. I will talk about the layers in a future video as I merchandise something in a booth or something. 
Um, I just don't have time to do that typically at market. I know everybody asks and I promise I will make it um, a feature video. Lots of buckets of greenery. I'm really hoping this piece sells because it's really heavy and I don't want to have to move it back, but we'll see. Um, there wasn't a lot of furniture sold yesterday. In this market, it's always hit or miss if furniture is going to sell. It would be lovely if this dining set would sell, but um, again, it's always hit or miss. If nothing else, it's a great display for us. If we sell it, to be honest, I'm not sure what we do in its place because I've got a lot of merchandise on this table. If you're coming up to a booth, this is actually outside. And this is where you walk in. And here's a look at some of our neighbor's booths. Okay, so this is a booth right across from ours, and I love this deer. I really want this deer. He's like $500, and I'm sure he's worth every penny. I just don't have that budget. He is a huge, solid brass. Like, like this is where he is on me, so, you know, almost boob high, uh, solid brass deer. He's just gorgeous. Lots of beautiful pieces in here. Authentic, vintage just oh so pretty so pretty look at all the gorgeous stuff this was full this is all gone now from yesterday i meant to come over here yesterday but again i was mostly by myself and it was really busy when it opened yesterday Look how pretty, oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, really good stuff. Of course, one of the interesting things about being out at the ranch is that right now, right now there's a loose goat. This is actually the second time this goat has gotten out today. He was led back to his stable once earlier. But yeah. She little, just does her own thing. Little friendly goat, just wandering about through market. Okay, so we are at the end of day two. This cabinet has sold. Um, it will be picked up tomorrow. You'll start to see that we are really light on things. We sold a bookcase out of here, so we have a lot more open space here starting to get dark outside um we sold another small piece of furniture here you notice things that things are a little less fluffy and um sometimes in these you see we have signs but the truth is that we sold thus we sold there were multiples of them so there's actually a lot less i don't know if you can tell that we are messy right now i need to do a lot of cleaning um, this dining set has sold, including 
the green hutch over here, they we are gonna deliver that. So thankfully we get to keep that through the rest of market. Um, I'm really glad because I wouldn't know what to do with all this stuff. Um, I'd have to figure something out. Let's see. We've been selling garland like crazy. We sold one of the other big trees here. Uh, you might notice this is a completely different display than was here on day one. All of that has sold. We have no more deer, things like that. Uh, greenery has gotten a lot, a lot smaller, the piles and stacks. We had uh, nightstands here, they're gone. I've just moved the chairs away so you can see the table better since it has sold and you can see the items on it a little bit better. But this is where we are. I'm not gonna talk about money today because I wanna save that for the end. But I'll say this has been our best day ever. If you are familiar with what we do, leave your guesstimate in the comments and tell me what you think that we will do for this market. My goal was $10,000, which is about what we did last year at this market. I'll be curious to see what you think we did based on what we've done in years past. And uh, yeah, do it again. So I'm still standing. <laughs>